Holy fucking shit, you guys! What? I'm driving your car! Yes. Would you care to keep your hands on the wheel while you're doing that? I'm driving your car, but I just got a notification that Ruth Bader Ginsburg died! Okay, well, um, was that, was that one of your fares, is it? Because, you know, you're not supposed to ask for their name, they're supposed to ask for yours. Fuck! Could this year get any fucking worse? I, I, I mean, yes. We could get a death that's unexpected or untimely in some way. Plus, while you're busy breathlessly screeching over the loss of the privilege of stacking the deck that you once had, instead of paying attention to the road and the way you're going, I also might fail to reach my destination. You just had to make it to 2021! Fifth and main! Fifth and main! You're not even listening to me. Look, I may have to knock a star off of the review for this. And please do watch out for the truck. <laughs> Hi. Uh, listen, my last Uber driver was so, so like politically warped and hysterical that she caused a 15 vehicle pile up on a busy road. So it's not like too much to ask. I would prefer it if we listen, could... kiddo. I get it. I don't like the two party system. I think our country's corrupt. And quite frankly, I don't want to vote for Biden. It feels like voting for a Republican. You're only wasting your own time and money. You know that, right? And that of those with whom you associate by hanging conspicuously from their lapel like a warm stain. Whenever you endorse someone or something, whoever or whatever it may be, you act only as a hard-hitting advertisement for their opposition. You paint everything you love with a blindingly shiny neon sign saying, we are deranged psychotic meatheads with no perceivable future on this earth. But I'm gonna do it! Yes, and for such an inherently self-destructive force, you're really taking your sweet time destroying yourselves. You wanna know why? It's because you're too busy destroying everything else first. You know, fascism, among other things, uh, is, is, is typically characterised uh, by a very small-minded one-track system that impulsively rejects any and all alternatives to it without a second thought. Say, why do you have such a reactionary aversion to alternatives? Because the alternative is a fucking fascist! What's a fascist? A fascist is a fascist! Yes, I can see how you became so convinced. Um, is there any chance, and this is a guess, but an educated guess, is there any chance that by fascist you mean anyone who is not a communist? Would that perhaps be a little reductive? Maybe we can have the conversation about dismantling the two-party system when a fascist isn't running! <laughs> and then we can finally implement our one-party system where we abolish private property and seize the means of production on behalf of whoever now owns all of that property. This is, of course, anti-fascism. Because as we know, an anti-fascist is an anti-fascist. Don't let those McCarthyan conspiracy theorist dinosaurs tell you otherwise. Do remember this, folks, th this video, and do play it on repeat in response to any of those thick-browed, dead-eyed children trapped in the minds of the manipulated undead who for their whole lives have been yelling fascist at every inconvenience they experience. I've done it. You've all done it. Don't pretend you've never done it. You've, you, you learned that word when you were young and you thought it meant just authoritarian. And you still do think it means that whenever it suits you. The police arrest someone, it's fascism. They, they confiscate your anthrax, it's fascism. You're not allowed in this nightclub wearing coloured sneakers, it's fascism. The teacher gave you a detention for stabbing another kid in the eye, it's fascism. It's completely irrelevant what fascism actually means or ever meant. It's just a word we use to describe every rule we don't like. And we keep doing it. No fascist ever challenges it and comes to the defence of actual fascism because there aren't any actual fascists. But the moment, the very first moment, you hear someone calling anything communist, suddenly it's, oh my God, you don't know what communism is, you uneducated dribbler. What is it with this red scare? You're just as bad as... as uh, well, me, I guess. For doing the exact same thing with the word fascism for as long as I have known the word fascism. 
Yeah, except that little revelation never actually occurs to you, does it? You also learned the word communism when you were young and you thought it meant sharing. <laughs> just sharing and just being nice to each other. And you still do, believe it me, whenever it's convenient for you. As such, you will forgive yourself for the hundreds of times you've impulsively called something fascist when it was merely authoritarian. But you won't forgive someone, someone else, for the first and only time you ever hear them call something communist when it is merely authoritarian. Never mind when someone calls a communist a communist when they are raising a communist flag. Like, it, if you, you know, if, if you quite naturally cringe every time someone smears out the old you hate this country tactic, because you recognise that it's just a shallow attempt to use purely emotional accusa accusations of hate in lieu of a defensible political position, and yet... You twiddle your thumbs and stare blankly into space every time someone says you hate minorities or you hate the poor. Indeed, if your reaction to what I'm saying now in this video is why are you what abouting on the subject of communism, I only want to talk about fascism! <laughs> the fascism that I say is definitely there because I say it's definitely there and not the communism that I say is not there because I say it's not there even when it's this self-fucking pro professed then you are fooling no one but yourself and the rest of the already converted choir of useful idiots to whom you preach. If communism is, is, your, is your bestest and most favouritest mass murder cult, if you are firmly on team communism is good, fam fascism is bad, then just fucking say so. Because that is exactly what it sounds like when you do that shit. That everything is fascism, nothing is communism. Bullshit. That's what it sounds like. To those of us on team communism and fascism are both terrible ideas without a speck of merit between them. So for the love of fuck, please either admit to everyone that on some level you sympathise with communism, the world's most murderous ideology at the moment, or wind your fucking neck in. I can't see anything. That's probably for the best, David. There's, there's nothing here to see but trauma. Listen, kiddo. A fascist is a fascist! It's a fascist! It's a fascist! It's a fascist! 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 Okay, now. Fascist! 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 Is this gonna be forever? Fascist! 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 Why is this happening to me? Fascist! Uh, Champ! Uh, Chief! Is this real life? Maybe we can do that later, kiddo! I feel funny. You being a bitch is gonna help? Uh. What I'd like you to do is apologize instead of being a bitch. Maybe we can talk about it later! Uh. Later! Uh. Calm down. Uh. They can't hear me because they're listening to Kids Bop.